Hello gorgeous people, welcome to my channel, I'm Holly Honjo. If you don't know, I make workouts that are fat, senior, disability and injury friendly and I am so glad you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I hope you enjoy it and get some pointers. Today I'm going to be taking you through my top five tips for starting your fitness journey. Now, I know a lot of you are probably trying to get started on a fitness journey. Uh, right now, it's 2021, it's January, it's time to get going with that. Um, quite often, I get a lot of questions on my channel about what workout should I do, what part of the body should I be working out, how often should I work out. So I just wanna kind of try and um, clarify and answer a few of those questions for you here today. First things first, let's talk about schedule. You need to decide on your schedule of when you're going to work out. I highly suggest setting a specific time and day that you have allocated for working out. And I know it's very tempting when you've just started your fitness journey, you're feeling very, very motivated and enthusiastic, and you just want to work out seven days a week for an hour, an hour and a half at a time. Maybe you even want to work out twice a day. Awesome. But let me tell you uh, motivation can and often does quickly wane so you want to set yourself a schedule that is going to be something that you can be consistent with for a long time i know that for myself personally i don't like working out when my kids are around um, so I have allocated the days that they're at school are the days when I am going to do my workouts. And by workout, I mean, um, you know, my kind of like routines that I do. On the days they are here, we do go out for dog walks um, and mainly just walking on those days. So it's not very far. But the days when I actually do what I consider my, you know, I'm going to get really sweaty are the days they're not here. Um, and that's because I honestly know, um, like over Christmas, when they're here, I am not motivated. I don't want to work out. I don't want someone climbing on me, climbing under me, pulling my bra straps, um, getting under my feet, someone that I might accidentally punch in the face with a dumbbell. Um, so that's why I don't do it. I do realize that some of you may have kids and um, your kids don't go to school, so they're gonna be around you a lot. Um, so again with that you just need to pick um, a good time maybe let them use the iPad um, give them TV or settle them down at the beginning of last year when we went into lockdown I had both kids at home with me so when my youngest went up to nap in the morning I just gave my eldest the iPad um, and let her watch TV while I did my routines then and that was my uh, workout routine for that time um, if you've seen any of my videos from back then, you know that I sometimes got interrupted when I was working out. Um, but that was my specific time for me to work out and I kept to it and that's how I kept consistent. So make sure you kind of allocate a time in a day. You might work out in the evening, you might work out in the morning. It doesn't really matter. I know some people, you know, ask when's the best time to work out? Whenever you have time. That is the best time, to be honest. Set yourself a realistic schedule as well. So make sure you have rest days in there. If you're taking up a new workout routine and you know, you're know you gonna be lifting weights or you're gonna be using parts of your body that you haven't used for a long time, you're gonna need rest days. <laughs> Trust me, you are gonna feel it. So I even like the schedule of working out every other day and I probably would if I had um, if I didn't have the kids, um, then I would be doing it like that. So make sure you schedule in rest days and schedule yourself sessions that aren't gonna be too long. You know, if you wanna just do a 30 minute session, excellent, just what the doctor ordered or recommends. Tip two, choose an activity that you enjoy and can maintain. For example, if you like walking, go on walks. If you like doing uh, Zumba routines, do Zumba routines. If you like working out with me, awesome, thank you. I love working out with you too. So come work out with me. So choose someone that makes you feel happy, that makes you feel excited, that doesn't make you feel bad or crappy about yourself. Choose a routine that's actually gonna get you going. Personally, Zumba was something I could never get into. I know people rave about it. I tried a few Zumba classes um, and it's just like the routine, it changes too quickly and I didn't find it fun at all because I couldn't keep up and when I couldn't keep up, I couldn't get up a sweat so it wasn't a good workout option for me. 
But when I found um, lifting and started working out with my trainer um, a few years back, I found that I really loved lifting um, and I love doing my routines that I do now, my body weight routines and pushing myself and seeing kind of how much progress I can make. So that's what motivates me with the things I do. I also enjoy walking and hiking. So things like that when, you know, the weather's good, I will go and do that with my family. Um, so yeah, just find an activity that you enjoy. I would say if you are heavier, um, make sure you're a little bit um, conscientious of the activities you choose, particularly if you're trying to do anything high impact, which means things with jumping um, or kind of any running, which could be a little bit hard on your body if you're starting out on your journey. Um, so definitely try to look for workouts that are low impact or no impact. Um, and just make sure you enjoy it. Make sure you have fun with the person you're working out with. So while we're on the topic of activities you love or what workout to do, the question I often get is specifically, which workout should I do? I see a lot of people comment on um, you know, certain videos of mine. I love this workout. I'm gonna do it every day. And I always write back and say, I love that and I, you know, I'm happy that you want to do one of my workouts, but I would advise against doing the same workout every single time you work out. For example, if you are doing a full body workout, sure, do the full body workout, but next time choose a different full body workout because each time you work the body, you're gonna be using different muscles or the same muscles in a different way. But if you do the same workout routine, trust me, your body adapts very, very quickly. And it's not gonna be giving you the same burn or kind of doing what we really want with our body. Um, so, you know, find one or two or three workouts that you really enjoy. They can all be full bodies. So do those and just do them in a rotation. Or if you want, you can do like my specific, you know, muscle targeting workouts. So like on Monday, I'm gonna do a leg and booty workout. Wednesday is gonna be um, core. Um, and then Friday is gonna be uh, like an arm workout. And then maybe on Sunday, we'll do a full body workout, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So just keep it different. And plus, it's gonna be a bit more interesting than doing the same workout same workout day in day out tip number three let's talk about goals 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 often when you see people talking about fitness journeys they say make a goal choose a goal something you know um, a smart goal I can't remember what that stands for sustainable measurable actionable I don't know anyway um, they say, yeah, pick a goal, something that you can measure. I, I kind of am in two minds about this, honestly. I think firstly, a great goal to have at the very least would be something like, you know, work out three or four days a week for 20 minutes. That is actually a really great goal. It doesn't have to be something um, body specific where you're, you know, saying my goal is to be able to do 100 push-ups. Um, in a month. Um, the other thing I want to say, so I think first of all, that's a great goal to have is just to, you know, set the goal for yourself to be able to work out a certain time, um, certain days a week, you know, a certain amount of times a week. The second thing I want to say is, and rightly or wrongly, when I've been working out, I haven't necessarily set myself specific goals like I want to be able to do 15 lunges by this time. I have always looked for the progress that I have made and enjoyed seeing that and then moving my kind of goal, I guess. So for example, what I'm talking about is my lunges. Um, when I first started my videos, if you go back to my old videos and, pardon me, if you go back to my old videos, and even my lunge modification video, I talked about lunges and I was demonstrating them. And I was having a hard time um, doing just stationary lunges. I couldn't um, bend my leg very much and the thought of even doing a reverse lunge kind of terrified me. And I thought I'm never ever gonna be able to do a reverse lunge. That's something that I'm only dreaming of. However, 
months later, my body has gotten stronger and stronger and I kept doing lunges. I kept making myself do them just because it was like, you know what? I suck at them, so I'm gonna make myself do them. And as I did that, I noticed I started getting stronger. So then I thought, I am gonna try these reverse lunges. Once I did those, they were really, really hard to begin with. And my leg, again, I was like, my leg's not going down very far. One day I was editing a video and I thought, wow, my reverse lunges look amazing now. Um, they're really good. I've made so much progress with my lunges. And it wasn't that I set a specific target of, I want to be able to do this lunge perfectly, but just every time I just want to practice doing lunges because I find it hard. Same with mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, oh my goodness. I actually never dreamed that I would be down on the floor doing mountain climbers. I, I honestly didn't think I would. I was always very happy to do the modification on the chair. But my goal for myself when I was doing those mountain climbers and I found them excruciatingly, painfully difficult was that, okay, I can do it for 10 seconds. Next time I wanna be able to, you know, do the mountain climbers for 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And once that happened, I suddenly felt the other day, I was like, I'm gonna give it a go on the floor because I think I can progress to the next level now. So just my goals have always been like very small goals and not necessarily things I even dreamed of. They were small acts of progression. Those have been my goals. Um, so I feel like for you, when you're making your goals, it doesn't need to be something way ahead in the future of some kind of exercise or thing you can do, but just make your goal. I want to get to the next level, the next level of progression. Um, whatever that might be, you know, going from wall push-ups to counter push-ups, to table push-ups, to stool push-ups. Each little progression is gonna help and you're gonna feel so much stronger, so much better. I've had people comment that when they've done some of my challenges um, and did push-ups, at first they could only do one push-up, then they were up to five and they hadn't even realized that they had made that progression. And that's just so amazing. Um, well, they hadn't realized until they commented and then they were like, that's so amazing. So yeah, just, it's all about progress, not perfection. Tip number four, do not chase the scale. I know a lot of you following me here are here for weight loss and are, um, you know, really on a weight loss journey. And if I could give you one tip when you are starting your fitness journey, don't let it be about, you know, chasing the scale. Don't try to work out with the hopes that your workout is gonna change the scale. Work out for the idea that working out has so many other benefits other than losing weight. You're gonna get stronger. You're gonna get more flexible. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna have more energy. So many benefits, you're gonna sleep better. So many benefits from working out that do not involve the scale. So don't chase the scale because sometimes you feel disappointed you know, you've worked out five days a week, an hour a day, and the scale went up, and that's gonna suck. So it's all about progress. There are other ways as well to track weight um, or to track weight loss if you're interested um, that don't involve chasing the scale. My final tip, number five, is don't overthink it. Just do it. What I mean by that is, and I'm guilty of this myself, is I tend to get in my head. So for example, I'll wake up and I'll think to myself, do I really feel like working out today? And sometimes, I mean quite often, honestly, the answer is no. Can I be bothered? No. But don't think that, don't even think about it. Don't even let your brain entertain that thought that not working out is an option. You have a schedule, you have a time and a day. You choose your workout the night before. You need to know what you're doing put your clothes ready, then just do it, just do it. There's no need to think about it. Just get on with it, work out, do it, be done. It's only 20 minutes, it's only 30 minutes. The time that you take arguing with yourself and you're gonna feel kind of crappy if you don't do it, you could have done the workout. So just get on, enjoy it, do it. If you're not sure where to start with your fitness journey, you can always visit my website hollyhonjo.com. I have a couple of different challenges on there that will give you a schedule to follow. Um, those ones do have things um, 
you know, a couple of days workouts and then, so like three days of working out and then a rest day in between. If you don't want to do it as intensely as that, just follow the workouts that I have put on there. So that's all you need to do is follow the, follow the workouts, but do it in your schedule. So if you've scheduled to work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just follow the schedule, but on your time. Um, and that will give you an idea of which workouts to start with. Um, I will be making some more workouts that are gonna be a little bit easier because I know there's a lot of people starting newer routines. Um, but for right now, my easier workouts are gonna be my workouts back from the beginning when I was first starting my journey. So do check those out. I will say my newer videos probably have better modifications um, because I realized a lot of people were using them. So I try to include them with all my videos now. Um, I, I'm not sure all of my old videos have modifications. Most of them do. Uh, but anyway, I hope this video has helped you and given you some ideas of things to do to start your fitness journey. If you have any other hints or tips, please leave a comment below so that you can help other people with theirs too. Or let me know if there's anything I missed that you know is a really, really great thing to do to help you on a fitness journey. Anyway, my darlings, I will chat to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.